Shaggy. Yo, guys, check it out. Guess what happened to me? Another day of life? Come on, Shaggy. I was hanging at TNT just watching some ball, commenting on the game. Yeah, we was there. I had the boys hollering, you know how it be. But then I heard this, poof, it was loud as can be. It was dirty, yo, Chuck. What? What you say? How about some one on one? You wanna play? I told him, hell yeah, I got some time. But when I woke that ass, try not to cry. Please, Shaq, are you serious? What I want with Barkley? Yeah, 42 waist belt opposite end of me. You must be damn crazy. I knew I could take him, stare at a Chuck, psych him out. I said, Barkley, you in my house now. Start the game, the whistle blows. Pay attention, close how story goes. Boom, bam, Kobe and Charlie can't eat a dick. What? They can both see you. A you don't even know a hook. Dick. You need to shut your mouth before I come over there with your ass. It's news time. Delivering to you the news you didn't know about, the news you didn't care about, and the news you didn't know you cared about. With host, Chad White. Now, here's that host, Chad White. Welcome back to News Time. I'm your host, Chad White, and this is the basketball news that you didn't know about. I really wish I had a basketball here as a prop, but I don't because I'm not prepared. Do you hear that? It sounds like spherical rubber objects bouncing to and fro on laminated wood and hard floors. It sounds like basketball. This weekend marks the start of the NBA's preseason, even though it feels as if that's been happening since before the finals. Now that basketball is back, I can finally stop wondering what the story of Space Jam 2 is going to be. Perhaps Coach Foghorn Leghorn continually refers to his mostly black team as his boys, gets mad one day and accidentally calls one of them the N-word, and everyone erupts with anger as if they didn't see this coming. Now who's, I say, who's responsible for this unwanted attack on my person? Uh, that's a really good foghorn. Go look it up, kids. Uh, over the past few decades, just as players in the NFL took on issues outside their realm of sports, so too have NBA players. This world is more than the tiny planets they orbit. Uh, yeah, they know dribble dribble, but it's just not their place to shut up and do it. NBA players, as with every other sports person on the planet, are allowed to have as much say in worldly topics as you and I, which makes sense because sportsters, NBA sportsters in particular, have a lot to say. It disregard their views on science, see topics. Most, uh, most should plead the fifth. Look at Hollywood. This is, after all, an entertainment news show. Hollywood has fallen in love with the NBA. League games are featured in movies more than ever, kind of like how baseball was two decades ago. Football and baseball take a lot of coordination to pull off, but you can just go to any one of the hundred basketball games, shoot whatever scene you have, and move on. I assume, I don't know. Plus, the NBA funnels way more entertaining players. I'd take Charles Barkley and Shaquille O'Neal swabbling over just two linemen or a star pitcher and first baseman any day. Take LeBron James. His agent, Rich Paul. That guy's really living up to his first name. He and United Talent Agency are joining forces to create a sports division. If you watched last week's episode of News Time, you know I covered Talent Agency Endeavor, which also has its own sports side with IMG, iterations of which have existed for the better part of the 20th century. NBA players are influencing the media world around them every day. Music, clothing brands, even tacos. NBA players can make anything seem cool. What, the taco thing? Oh, let me explain. LeBron, in his almighty wisdom, uses the phrase Taco Tuesday on a weekly basis, I think. I don't know. I don't really follow sports people, just B-list comedians with multiple podcasts each. He thought it best to capitalize on the term he obviously made up by trademarking it, even though it started as far back as 1933. <laughs> but who cares? This is America, baby. Who does he think he is? Kim Kardashian West? Seriously, though, LeBron did move to L.A. for more than to play on a team. His production company, Spring Hill Entertainment, is based there and they have a crap ton of projects in the works. Maybe all of this press can translate into more ticket sales for the ailing WNBA, which is partly owned by the NBA, but they would never admit it because they're too damn proud. Then there's the multi-million dollar making video game NBA 2K series that gets worse every year, but somehow manages to make money. NBA players aren't the only ones making money off of their talents. Wealth managers like Joe McLean can make upwards of 60 to 80 cents off of their clients' dollar. 
that's a lot of cash. And all he has to do is make sure they don't spend it all on stupid stuff. He's bad at his job. As much as NBA players love the spotlight, they also yearn for the limelight. Like LeBron, Kevin Durant also has a media company that seems to move when he is forced to move. They're making shows with Apple and Fox Sports. Kyrie Irving is doing a surprisingly funny job as Dr. Drew, Kobe Bryant, Chris Paul, Dwayne Wade, Andre Iguodala, even Tony Parker has a couple of Oscars under his belt thanks to his investment with Argent Pictures. These NBA players are giving it 100% on and off the court. And behind the camera and in production meetings, you get what I'm saying. Can they bring the same quality hustle that gets them through to the finals? We'll have to wait and see. But you don't have to wait and see if you subscribe and check out one of these other videos. Of course, you can head to the website seaplesscomedy.com where there are so many great interviews that you'll be knocking your socks off. You can follow us on Twitter at Seaplus Comedy. Follow me on Twitter at Chad Black White. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram with those same names. And if you think I'm going to reshoot this episode, you're goddamn right I am. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it again. From the top.